Hi, and welcome to week 17 of U.S. History. So this week, uh, we'll be diving into the late 19th century. We're going to talk about the dynamics of big business that arose in the U.S., the transformative impact of business practices on workers in the late 1800s, the evolving composition of immigrants during this period, the changing face of commerce, through technology and marketing, and the cultural and educational landscape of the late 1800s, again. So, so this era witnessed a fervent public debate on the merits and drawbacks of big business. Advocates argue, argued for economic efficiency and progress. Think of capitalism while critics voiced concerns over monopolies and their potential impact on competition and societal well-being. This debate laid the groundwork for regulatory measures to address the excesses of unchecked corporate power. So when we say regulation, when we say regulatory measures, we're talking about law enforcement through government. Next, we'll talk about the impact of business practices on workers so business practices at the time had profound implications for the American workforce. The era saw the rise of industrialization and the assembly line, transforming labor dynamics. While these developments contributed to economic growth, they also led to labor unrest and calls for worker rights, shaping the trajectory of the American labor movement. Moving on, We'll have a comparison of new immigrants to earlier immigrants. So the influx of quote unquote new immigrants in the late 1800s marked a departure from earlier waves. These newcomers, predominantly from Southern and Eastern Europe, faced distinct challenges and discrimination. Contrasting their experiences with those of earlier immigrants sheds lights on the evolving narrative of immigration and assimilation in American history. Next, we're going to talk about the impact of technology and marketing on the standard of living. So technological advancements, the advent of new retail formats and innovative marketing strategies reshaped American standards of living in the late 1800s. The pro proliferation of consumer goods facilitated by department stores and advertising brought about a shift in lifestyle and consumption patterns, reflecting the broader, uh, uh, broader excuse me, societal changes during this period of industrialization. Next, we'll talk about mass culture and education. So mass culture and education in the era mirrored the societal shifts occurring in, um, in industrialization and in marketing. So the rise of newspapers, say, magazines, and popular entertainment contributed to the creation of a shared national culture, which today we call pop culture. Simultaneously, educational reforms sought to standardize and expand access to learning setting the stage for the educational landscape that would define the 20th century. Here, the term we're thinking of is universal education. So to conclude, um, in, in the late 19th century, there was a rich tapestry woven with threads of industrialization, immigration, and technological progress. The debates surrounding big business, the challenges faced by workers, the changing demographics of immigrants, the impact of technology on lifestyle, and the shaping of mass culture and education collectively define an era marked by dynamic transformations and set the stage for the complex narratives that would unfold in the 20th century. So I hope that this video has been informative and productive for you so far. I want to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.